stories. Used as a tool to teach higher functioning individuals with ASD how to better understand and interact in various social situations. The stories illustrate a social situation the individual is likely to experience, offering ways to respond to the situation appropriately. The statements made in these stories are descriptive and prescriptive, providing information and possibly reactions. Less emphasis is given to directive statements or affirmative statements which explain what is socially acceptable to do and why. Stories should be presented in text form with pictures being added if necessary. The stories should be practiced until learned. Role playing can be an effective tool. PEX, the Picture Exchange Communication System. PEX is a form of communication which allow an individual the opportunity to exchange pictures with a listener. Pictures are used to request actions, events, and items. Identifying and pointing to the image of choice is the only response required to communicate through this medium. Teachers do not require extra training. No special training is required either by the listener. Initial acquisition is not difficult and can be expanded upon. Initial teaching should be done with two therapists, one to interact with the child and the other one to prompt. When paired with sign language, a full linguistic system can be provided. Textual communication. Textual communication is the ability to read aloud when looking at written text. It does not mean that information being read is understood. Visual stimulus, the written text, is the antecedent which controls the response. The point-to-point -point response is not matching as the response is verbal, but the antecedent is visual. Social reinforcement would be the consequence. It is likely that the allowed reading is for someone else. Rule cards. Rule cards state the behavior expectations of the learner during a given activity or situation presented to the learner before the activity slash situation occurs can be used during an activity slash situation as a reminder or prompt if the learner is not following the rules. As the learner successfully demonstrates the target response, the use of the rule card should be gradually faded. Teaching procedure. Therapist reads rules to learner before activity. Therapist prompts learner with rules during activity if learner is not following the rules.